Hey, can I buy a Minecraft server? Yeah, let me ring you up. That'll be zero dollars and zero cents. So it's free? Yes. So I can make a Minecraft server for free, no lag, low ping, 10 gigabytes of RAM, 20 gigabytes storage, better than Eternos crack tea launcher? Bro, you're sounding like a crafted Croy title now. Chill out. What is up crafters? Welcome back to another free hosting video. Today we are taking a look at Accent Host. Wait, didn't we already cover this hosting before? Well, look no further than the one and only Accent Host. Oh yeah. Well, there have been a lot of things that have changed since my last video, and this video is sponsored, but this is a really great free hosting that you should definitely give a try. You can make a server with up to 10 gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of disk space, but notice the little star up there, and we'll get back to that later. So in this video, I will show you how to set up your server, and we'll go over some of the new features of this host, and then at the end, I'll give some of my thoughts and opinions on it. So without any further ado, let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is head to the first link in the description and it will take you to their login page. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in with Google because I think it's the easiest method. And then we just want to click on our Google account and click continue. And there we go. It's as easy as that. So now what we need to do is go earn some credits to start up our server. So you'll just want to head over to the credits page. So here on the credits page, what we'll want to do is go to the hourly free credits and just click claim. So this is a good way to get credits every hour to keep your server on. So just click on claim and then there will be a captcha. So you'll just need to click the box and click claim. And then we'll just need to keep on doing that until we get enough credits. And there we go, we claimed all of our hourly free credits. So there are a couple other ways that we can earn credits such as the offer wall. So basically this is things like if we click on this. So this is one of those things where you get one of these apps and you then do whatever it tells you to do, like install and open, register, download apps, play for an hour, and you get 579 credits. So this is a way to earn credits. There are a bunch of different things. So there are also a couple other options and more offers coming soon. And then if you wanted, you can buy credits, but that kind of takes the free out of free hosting because you're paying for it. So if you don't want to pay for credits, there's another option with these diamonds. So this is basically their premium currency to have 24 seven servers and you can have automated backups and FTP access. So we'll get back to this later. I have a few things to say about this at the end. So, but this is basically just like their premium servers. So if you want to have your server on for a month instead of every hour, then here you go. So let's just go ahead and create our free server. So we'll just want to go to the servers page and click on create now. And then obviously we're going to do a Minecraft server because that's just what I do. So we can choose between Europe or United States. So I'm going to go with United States because I'm an American idiot. Don't wanna be an American idiot. Here's where the fun of this host comes in. You get to select how much RAM and disk you want. So if we say we want more RAM for a more powerful server, the only problem with this is that it's going to cost more credits per hour. So right now it's going to be taking 50 credits an hour. So we can only get 15 credits an hour unless you invite friends or something. So we're just going to go with two. And then this looks good. So we can click create my server. And then we want to click on activate and accept. And there we go. Our server is online. So if you watch my pterodactyl panel video, you'll probably recognize some of this stuff. So we have like our console where we can see our console that's in the name. And we can also go to our files. So let's say you want to make your server correct. So you'd want to go to the server.properties. And we want to look for online mode, set that to false. Let's say we wanted more players. So we would set our max players to a high number. Obviously, I don't think this server will be able to hold 10,000 players, but in theory, you could hold 10,000 players now. And then I always like to set enforce secure profile to false. This just kind of screws stuff up. And then if we want to save 
We can scroll down, click on save. So right here we have the upgrades page. So basically right here, what you can do is up the RAM or up the disc. You can also decrease the disc if it's using too many credits. You can also switch over to the diamonds. Unfortunately, I don't have any diamonds, so I can't show you that. And then over here we can check our backups. So we can just like back up now, back up now, give it some time. We'll come back to that. So we can head over to the variance page. So this, I was the one who recommended this. So I, I think we should get like, like a statue of Crafted Croy on this page because like I was the one that recommended this. So right here we can like install Geyser MC. You can change your server to fabric if you want to run mods or forge. I don't actually know how to run a modded server. I probably should, people are always asking me. But we can also change it over to Bedrock. We can just have vanilla. So yeah, you can just change your version right here. You don't have to like go to a version website and download a jar, upload it, stop your server, all that. You can just change it out right here. And we can also go to our settings. So you can change the name if you, if you don't want whatever that is you can also change this you probably won't need to worry about that so we're all good and if we go back to our backups page we can see that we now have this backup so you can just download or restore it so that's a basic overview of how to use this panel okay so now to join our server what we can do is just click on this to copy the ip you want to head over to minecraft click on multiplayer click on add server change the server name to whatever you want and then paste this in as the server address click on done scroll all the way to the bottom and then you can join the server as easy as that and there we go we are in our free minecraft server it is very free so let's say that you wanted to give your friends access to your server so that's where the teams feature comes in so this is one of the new features so basically you're able to invite your friends and you can also add like all your your credits and your diamonds into your team account so let's just go ahead and click on new team so i'm going to call this something stupid like loser squad and then create there we go so now we have loser squad so we can just click on manage and then what we'll want to do is head over to members and we can invite a new member so this is the email address associated with their account so i'm going to use my account from the last video and then click on invite. So then what your friend will need to do is register for an account on accident hosting. So, and then once you invite them, they will receive this email and you'll just want to click on join now. So the team loser squad invited you to manage servers together. So just click on accept. So now we have loser squad and mom squad. That was a test. So ignore that. <laughs> So what we want to do is head into the manage page and let's say that we wanted to add some credits to it. What we can do is click the plus and I have eight credits on this account. So if we click eight and then click add credits. So now we have eight credits in the loser squad. So we can head back to this account and if I refresh, we can see that it's now active. So let's say we wanted to add some credits on this account in. So we can just add the plus and then add my five. So now we have a total of 13 credits. So you can have a maximum of three people in your team. So if you have three people getting credits like every hour, you can get a lot of credits and maybe even leave your server on 24 seven if you wanted to. So now what we can do is create a new server under the loser squad. So we can create any one of these games. We're obviously just going to do Minecraft because I'm basic like that, just the lowest, and then create my server. So this will create it for the loser squad. So if we wanted to give our friend or myself, because I have no friends, access to the server, we can just click this little thing. And then we can change their role to admin. So they'll basically just have access to everything. So we can click on update. And now if we head back to here, refresh, and now we can see this server. So we can go ahead and activate that. And finally, let's say that you already have a server and you want to transfer it to your team. So what you can do is click these three little dots, click on transfer, and then select the team. So loser squad and transfer it. 
So now on Loser Squad, we have these two different servers. Yep, that's it. So now that you've had a chance to see how Accent Host works and the new features, I'd like to share some of my thoughts and opinions on it with you. I still stand by my thoughts from the last video on the free hosting. So if you didn't see that, then go check that out. It's really great and I love the way that the system works. It would be nice to see a few easier ways to earn credits, maybe like a daily login reward system or something, which would give users an incentive to log in every day. But I would like to talk about their premium options for a bit. So free hosting and paid hosting are two completely separate worlds. With free hosting, it's pretty much you get what you get. But with paid hosting, it's all about finding the best price for the best performance. Now, I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer. But you can't stop Debbie Downer but I was looking at the prices for the diamonds, which is the premium currency on Accent Host, and I noticed that they're kind of on the expensive side. It's 30 euros or about 32 US dollars per month for a server with 10 gigabytes of RAM on Accent Host. A server with just 10 gigabytes of RAM costs anywhere between $10 and $20 on most other hostings. Now, this might just be a mistake by one of the web developers just entering in a placeholder number or something for it, but I do think that they should lower their prices on their premium servers just to stay competitive. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on Accent Host in the comments below. And also, if you need some support for your server, then don't hesitate to join either the Accent Host Discord or my Discord server. Make sure to also check out both of my Minecraft servers. They are really fun. And you can also catch me live here on YouTube every Sunday. So until next time, I will see you on the other side and happy crafting. Get your free Minecraft server. Free Minecraft servers right here. Free zero dollars and zero cents. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm leaving now.